Girls love Beyonce. Girls love to fuck with your conscience. Girls take when niggas go. What's poppy? It's your girl, Custom Zai, and I'm back with another video. Today, I am going to be talking a little bit about how I come up with um, concepts for sketches or like finish work really just anything um i conceptualize as an artist how i come up with like images and stuff like that because it's a question that, that i get a lot literally of just people asking me like how did you think of that like how did you what made you want to put that on the canvas like what made you translate this meaning or whatever into this visual into this visual like how did you how did you get that where did you get from point a to point b how did you get from point a to point b so i'm about to tell y'all a little bit about my process and how i personally go about conceptualizing things and maybe if you're having trouble conceptualizing things you could take from this or you know give me tips about a way to make my process faster or something of that nature but I just want to yeah share my little process with y'all so let's get straight into it i actually don't know where to start honestly but let's try so i've gotten into tattooing as a lot of you may know and with tattooing some of the like preliminary stages of just learning how to tattoo and stuff is to do a lot of tattoo designs um as a tattoo artist me personally i want a lot of my obviously not everything that you tat is going to be original work it's just not like it's just not some people will come to you with an image and they want that specific image and yeah they're willing to pay you for it and i'm not gonna turn nothing down if that's exactly what you want i'm gonna do it just like with the painting if you come to me with the reference of course i didn't take a picture of your granny that's not my you know my photography but i'm fit to paint it for you you know so that's essentially the same thing um to an extent because sometimes they'll come to you with like a whole nother like an artist's whole piece and be like yeah word for word plagiarize it right now on my skin and um i'm probably not going to do too much of that but as far as just like you know it's just it's it's a case by case thing but anyways when you start tattooing you want to just get into sketching like designs and stuff that you would see yourself doing or that like people might ask for stuff like that and to just really get into like understanding tattoo, des tattoo designs and stuff like that the way that i'm thinking about like my tattoo designs and stuff obviously i have to keep in mind some tattooing principles like where I would see it and stuff like that. But as far as just conceptualizing for the art itself, um, my process usually, first, when I'm conceptualizing for a piece, whether it's a simple sketch like tattoo designs or, you know, um, maybe like an assignment when I was in school or just like, you know, artist prompts, stuff like that or maybe somebody who doesn't necessarily know what they want in a piece, but they know they want a piece. I'd like to start out with a theme. That's my number one tip. Rule number one, get you a good theme, you feel me? Because how are you going to get into creating a piece that's, you know, on theme without theme? So you have to establish where you want to go with it. Like, why are you making this? What do you want it to say? Like, what category is it in? What What is the subject matter? You know? Like, yeah. So, theme, subject matter, topic, vibe. What is it? Establish that first. So, for an example, um, yesterday, if you follow me on other social medias, you will see, you would have seen that I did some tattoo sketches and the theme was animals. I know for a fact y'all probably can't see this, but I'm just gonna try it anyways. <laughs> but that's what I came up with. So I started out with the theme and the theme was animals. So that helps you like kind of, um, what's the word? Focusing on exactly what you're trying to convey 
what you automatically know is going to be in a composition you know there's going to be an animal of some sort so you just keep going from there so that's like a really broad way of looking at it so from there um well with like these tattoo sketches i pretty much stopped there um i established my theme and you kind of just gotta well i just kept going from there but um aside from that if we're talking about like a finished piece or like a bigger project or something of that nature uh next after i established the theme i want to establish the story like what am i trying to say like what am i trying to convey type shit so like um damn i don't have any works with me right now i wish my freaking painting that's back here um diamonds for the blind date i wish that was back here because that would have been perfect but she's somewhere else right now doing her new deals but um but i'm gonna insert it So after I established the theme of like, okay, I want to do a portrait, like people, girl, diamonds. I don't really know what theme I was going for with that one. I just know it was very much like people, elegant, kind of freeing vibe, you know? So from there, I... Uh, I got into the story i got into the meaning what am i trying to convey um this is going to help every element of your composition be intentional that's why you want to ask yourself that question because when you get into creating a composition you don't want to just put things in just because you know because you can tell what's in there just because things that you include in a composition should be intentional from the color choice to you know what the object is the placement of the object the sizing of the object the place in space that the object is in whether it's in the foreground background middle ground you know you want to ask yourself what is the point like what is the point what am i trying to say how does this connect with what i'm trying to say so for an example with this piece um i just i wanted to convey the emotional process of a girl <laughs> well if you ever heard rod wave's song what's love he says a part where he's like diamonds for the blindy and really with just the whole song what i took from it is like a girl who she's blinded by like you know the ups and downs of life the happenings of life but she's always searching for something better always wanting more always wanting the finer things always wanting to elevate to feel established whether that's materialistic things or just you know like inner peace or just the finer things she wants the finer things in life she's always reaching for them always striving for them always they're always in the vicinity, even when she's blinded by bullshit. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that didn't sound as put together <laughs> as I would have imagined. But that's pretty much what I wanted to, like, say with that piece. So, with that being said, blinded, she's blinded by the things in life. I quite literally added, like, the blindfold or whatever um but going back to like the the theme of like elegance and just like a very feminine vibe i made sure that the blindfold kind of swayed out a little bit and i added to the composition very intentionally because that movement gives that vibe do you feel what i'm saying i'm giving y'all some art lessons for real <laughs> like this is the type of shit that you talk about in art school in depth and with more technical terms but i'm being a little uh formal right now informal yeah informal but yeah 
uh casual i don't fucking know anyways so i'm just talking to you those are the things that you have to consider when you're like putting things in a composition and conceptualizing like what objects you want to put in there think about a theme think about a story what you're trying to convey and think about how the composition is relating back to that story how every element in it all the stuff that i named about the elements how does that relate back to the story my final tip honestly is to just go to just draw like i know that um sketching like thumbnail sketches just little quick small sketches in relation to the things the ideas that you have for a piece can be a little superfluous a little tedious a little just you don't really feel like doing it you honestly feel like you just know exactly what you want to do and you want to get straight to it i definitely understand that feeling i've understood that feeling honestly since i started drawing um and that's just how i am as a person like even beyond just art like if i have a a want to do some a want especially a need to do something i want to get to it as quick as possible i'm not really trying to prolong anything or you know go through drafts i hate going through drafts i've hated drafts since i was a youth i'm telling you like i love to write as well i used to hate when a teacher told me oh yeah this is just a draft go back fix it. bro what like i ate what are you talking about <laughs> one time it takes one time don't tell me to go back and do nothing like i hate drafts i hate drafts i'm the type of person where i hate drafts i hate rough drafts i like to just hit it with the final boom because anything worth doing is worth doing right so you know i'm finna what but in all actuality you have to give yourself a minute to conceptualize you have to give yourself to be like oh that's a way that i can like you know convey the story i found my theme i know what i want to do but you would be surprised by what you could come up with the more you just sit and think and actually draw it out like you would be like hold up i got this i could do that i could do that and don't get me wrong you could do that like as you work on a final piece you can add things you can change things that's the beauty of like being a creator but um you'll save yourself time with like going back and changing visions and all this type of stuff if you take a minute to consider your other options you feel me it's like shoe shopping like you could walk in and grab the first thing you see and be out but it might be some hard shit in the bike <laughs> that you didn't even get to because you just looked at the first thing in the front and walked out and don't get me wrong you can get both you can walk out with both if you got it like that but you want to take the time to consider everything consider your options pick your brain let your brain like just flow some people can't like establish a theme and stuff until they sit down and just start drawing stuff out and then it's like oh this is what i want to draw so this is the theme now let me just keep going with these drawings put some things together and boom so yeah never underestimate the power of sketching like because you have to put pencil to paper pen to tablet whatever the case may be however you're creating needle to thread to uh, really get a feel for like what you're doing what direction you're going in as an artist i truly understand that feeling like even if i took all the prior steps to um like creating i still it's still just like this feeling that you get when you actually start doing it that's like yeah like yeah and then that's when it just start flowing so yeah um take your time you know and just work it out work it out physically mentally um and it'll all come together i hope everything i said makes sense i hope i elaborated enough but i think i did and yeah so these are just some tips that i have like i said for conceptualizing for pieces and stuff um 
and yeah so if y'all want me to elaborate on anything i said or just add on to anything because you know sometimes i really don't know if i got my point across but i really hope i did but yeah if y'all want me to let me know down below y'all should like comment and subscribe if you want to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend hope y'all rocked with this and with that being said i'm gonna see y'all in the next one